Hey guys, it's Mike. I'm actually making a few videos tonight because one, I've been behind schedule and haven't really had a chance to to make all the ones I've wanted to make for you and I do enjoy doing this. It's just been crazy busy. First part of the year is different. Okay, so I have some customer engagement but not as busy as it'll be later in the year. But I got a lot more work to do on the uh, self-education side and the, the makeup and doing things with customers and I had to learn all sorts of new systems. It's like, you want to work in uh, the information technology sector, especially in development, you got to keep up with technology. Um, when you graduate college, for example, you're, obs you're only six months from being obsolete, so you got to keep that up. So I've been busy trying to make myself current to be any part of this year and also, as you know from my other vlog, dealing with some personal issues and slowly getting that sorted out, I think. We don't, don't know. Either way, however things end, however life goes, staying positive, moving forward, no regrets, keeping people happy that I care about and and expanding my circles and all that all that good stuff. So it's a very positive, I think, very bright future, very positive. Um, anyway, so after I got back, and I recently got back from a trip to uh, Makati City in the Philippines. It's another place, by the way, it's a long flight that I've been to many, many, many times uh, in the last uh, year, I guess, year or so. Um, and I, I do enjoy the place, and I enjoy the people there in particular. But I just got back from there, and my son was telling me he was having trouble with my Plex server, which, as you know, is a component or a docker that runs on my Unrate 6 server. And basically, when he tried to go there to watch movies, he was telling him, you need to update your software. Great, no problem. I got this, son, don't worry. So I... I go to my Unraid server to go to update it, and it's giving me an error basically saying the manifest file doesn't match something. It doesn't really matter what the error is, other than I couldn't update the Docker. So then I try to update a few things. I try to update also my uh, uh, my BitTorrent sync, or whatever they're calling it, Resilio sync or something as well, and that gave me the same error. And I realized there's one or two Dockers that did update, but most of them didn't. So I started doing some, uh, some checking, and this is not an uncommon problem, but there's no real clear path to fix it. And essentially, what you have to do to fix this, and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do a screen capture and show you how to fix this, is you really gotta SSH or tell that into your Unraid server and delete the docker to IMG file. And I'll show you the steps to do that, because really what you need to do is stop the docker service first, go out there, delete that. Now, when you restart the service, you're gonna find you have no dockers, okay? So take a screenshot of your configurations. You might not need it, be safe, right? So I did, I took a screenshot of my configurations. I went out there, stopped the service, killed the docker.img file, I'll show you how to find that. Takes a bit. Um, and then I restarted the service, it came back up, I have no dockers. So the other thing the screenshot does is tell you which dockers you had installed. And it gave me an opportunity to clean up some of the ones I wasn't using anyway. So. What I did then is I just went out and reapplied them, okay, from uh, from the catalog. Um, fortunately, all of them came back with the same configuration I had before. I didn't really have to do anything other than run the install. I remembered the choices I made the first time. So the new Plex server installed, it came up, and all my movies were there again. Because uh, you don't, you're not deleting your movie files, just the the image file for the Docker's. And then I installed the BitTorrent sync, and that came back up just fine. Again, same configuration. So, so life's really good. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to do that, and hopefully, don't run into this problem. Now, on my QNAP server, I also ran into a problem with the Plex server; could not update it. I'm not sure if, how the internal guts of the the QNAP server is, uh, or what caused that to happen. But what I ended up doing there was just uninstalling the Plex server on there, and that's sort of just my backup test server. I reinstalled it, and that came back up as well. So that's easier, just uninstall and reinstall, right? Um, QNAP does a pretty good job with their software. Actually, an incredible job. Um, but the Plex server, or sorry, the Unraid server, you, should, you usually have to jump through a few more hoops. So this is how you do that. Anyway, until next time, uh, this is Mike. Let me show you how to do it now. Take care. Okay, guys, so this is Mike again. And what I'm going to show you now is what to do when your Dockers get sort of corrupted. So what you're looking at here is my my Unraid 6 server. If I click on Docker, you see I've currently got three Dockers installed. Crusader, which is basically a file management system. 
my Plex Media Server, which is my movies, and uh, my BitTorrent Sync. As you can see, it's turned off at the moment. Actually, it's running, but I don't have an auto start. I had a bunch more before. When I cleaned this up recently, I, I, I trimmed it down. It's not a bad idea, but basically what happens is if you go and you do check for updates, <coughs> it'll show you all the updates. And if any are available and you click update, and you get a message basically that says uh, manifest file doesn't match, doesn't matter, whatever. Um, that's a good indication that your Docker file is corrupted. And that was what was happening to me. Now I can't show you the update here because I'm clearly up to date on these. But let's go ahead and show you how to clean this up. Now if that happens, what's going to happen is you're going to want to go out and delete your docker.img file. So let's go ahead and see how we're going to do that. First thing I want to do is go over to settings. And then in settings you have this docker click that and enable docker say no click apply so that's going to go ahead and apply and you'll see in your progress bar it's going to keep running and my server's running a little slow because there's actually a parity check running right now so let's give it a second and if you notice the actual docker's entry disappears so it's basically at this point you've told your Unraid server not to run any Docker. So your Plex server will have shut down, your BitTorrent sync will shut down. If you have own cloud out there, that'll shut down. And I took own cloud off for now. I'll put it back a little bit later. Um, so now what you're gonna wanna do is go over to either SSH or terminal, right? Now, if you're on a Mac, same idea. And you're gonna wanna go ahead and Telnet, I should say you should go over to terminal or your command line, sorry, my apologies. Uh, but what you're going to want to do next is connect into your Unraid server. So whether it's SSH or Telnet, up to you, uh, depending on your needs. I'm going to go ahead and Telnet over to Elsa, which is my Unraid 6 server. Uh, enter your password. Okay, it gave me a hard time, so I'm going to enter root and my password. And bada bing, I should be in. Oh. Let's try typing a bit slower. Okay, now I'm in. So, if you look, I check my directory. I'm currently in root. That's not what I want. What I want to do is go into slash mnt slash user. And if I do it ls, ls dash l here, you can see there's a file here called docker.img. And it's a fairly large file. And it's always going to default to that size. But what that is, is that's the guy that holds all of your, your basically your Docker images. So whether it's BitTorrent Sync, OwnCloud, Plex Server, who knows what, it's, um, it's all there. So to fix this problem is actually very, very simple. You simply type in rm docker.img, which is just your basic Linux command to remove that file. Press enter, of course, Typical Unix fashion, doesn't give you any confirmation, it just does it. Do another ls-l and you'll see that the docker.img file is no longer there. So I don't need to be in here anymore. I go back to my Unraid server, go back into settings, docker, re-enable this. And all re-enabling and disabling does is start and stop the service. There's other far more complicated ways to do this, but this is the simplest way. And again, my server is running a little slow because, unfortunately, uh, I decided to film this video at the time Parity Check is running. Okay, so as soon as it re-enables, I go back over here to Docker. And as you can see, all my Dockers are now gone, right? So, but I've just fixed whatever problem there is. And if I were to check the server now, the docker.img is back. But let's go ahead and add a Docker. So add container. I pull down my template, and I guess the most important one I've got right now on this server, at least according to my children, is the Plex Media server. So I click that. Um, you have to trust me on this, but these are actually defaulting to what I had before. Now, what you could do is, before you delete them, and what I recommend, and what I mentioned earlier, is go ahead and take a screenshot of your configurations. Go ahead and click Apply. And you'll see it's going to go out there and download everything for this uh, particular Docker. Click Done. Click 
click save and Flex Media Server is now running. I'm going to switch this to auto start on so next time it always starts up with my server. I'm going to go ahead and add in just two more while you're on the connection here. Uh, let's go ahead and add in my sync which is my BitTorrent sync. Again everything's back to my original defaults. Click apply. And done. I'm not going to auto start this one for now because actually I'll go ahead. I'm going to auto start it. Uh, and let's go ahead and add in the Crusader as well. Crusader is very cautious. Basically, it allows you to edit file systems. So you can really, like you could do with Telnet, really mess up your server, and they just want you to know that. And again, this would be more complicated if I hadn't already previously set it up. And that's it. Look how quick uh, I was able to reinstall my three dockers. And you could do that. So, again, I'm not exactly sure why Unraid 6 gets into a situation where that occurs. But, fortunately, once you know what you're doing, it's easier to fix. And I'm really hoping this helps you out so you don't have to go and do all the research I just did to figure out how to fix this. But, again, there's really not much on Unraid 6 that I've managed to, to screw up yet. Well, and I hope that helps you. I hope that helps you fix up your Unraid server, uh, saves you a little pain. And I got a few more Dockers I want to cover in future videos. So if you're interested, I know I've had a few of you ask me about setting up the registered version of BitTorrent Sync or Resilio Sync, uh, how to set up an SSL certificate. Sorry, wow. Yeah, Secure Sockets Layer. How to set up an SSL certificate on OwnCloud. I'll show you how to do that. Uh, I've still got, I keep trying to get this video done. Still got a surround Wi-Fi system, which is really cool though. I gotta get that video produced. So lots more to come. Again, keep your requests coming. You guys are what what tells me what to make, alright? So I'm doing this for you. Uh take care. This is Mike.